In this section, we're going to be talking about sporotrichosis. So sporotrichosis, this one's not that hard. It's caused by the organism sporotrichinecki. This is a fungus, and it is a dimorphic fungus, so it's a mold in the environment, and it's a yeast in your body. And when it's in your body, it looks like a cigar-shaped budding yeast, okay? And I have a way to remember this. Uh, I'll tell you in a second. And it's, it's found on vegetation, okay? So it's found on trees, um, somewhere, sometimes in the soil, but in, uh, on roses and stuff like that. So that's why it's caused, um, it's common in gardeners, because usually what happens is that it's on the vegetation, right? And what happens is you have some, you need to have some kind of trauma to inoculate the skin. And so, for example, you'll have a, uh, a, a thorn prick. And so the thorn will cause the fungus to go into your body, and that trauma will cause the gardener to get sporotrichosis. It's actually not a systemic disease, okay? It's not a systemic disease. It's really local. And it causes something called ascend ascending lymphangitis, okay? Um, hold on a second. It causes something called ascending lymphangitis, and that's pretty much that, I suppose, so if this is your hand, okay, with a lot of fingers, and if you get pricked right here, Okay, it, maybe you'll start here, and there'll be a little nodule there. That nodule is actually granuloma. Okay, but eventually, over a couple of days, it will go up your lymph node, and you'll just see these nodules that are gradually ascending up your lymph node. Hence, the term ascending uh, lymphangitis. And so, um, the way that I kind of remember that it's cigar shaped also is that if you if you're gonna do it, is that the gardener think about like a gardener like sitting kind of in his gardener like with a cigar, I guess. And so that's why he has it. And and that's why it's cigar shape. Again, I mean, so, and for the treatment, the um, you can it's itraconazole and potassium iodide. And the way you can remind, kind of remind yourself is that you have to remind yourself to plant a rose in the pot. And you, when you think pot, you can think potassium. And when you think potassium, you think potassium iodide. Itraconazole is kind of weird, but I came up with this um, little uh, mnemonic. But basically, all you have to do is remember KI. If you remember KI, the K stands for KI, and then the I stands for itraconazole. Okay, so you can kind of think. That okay, so plant a rose in the pot. So KI, I mean KI is like really unique. You just remember KI is used for sporotrichosis. And if you know KI, then you know the KI stands for KI, and the um, I stands for itraconazole. Um, so that that's just the way I remember it. And that's about it. So let's just go back. Caused by sporotrichinecki. That's really the only sporotrichs we know. It's dimorphic, so it's a mold in the environment. It's a yeast inside of us. When it's inside us, it's a budding yeast that looks cigar shaped. I remember that because I think of like gardener with a cigar. Um, it's on vegetation, like trees and roses and stuff like that. Trauma is required to inoculate the gardener. It's going to inoculate, if it's inoculated distally, right? So I guess he's, he's working on his garden. He gets inoculated right here with the thorn, and then it ascends up your lymphatics, okay? And if you were to do a biopsy of the nodule, it's actually a granuloma, uh, with, like, histiocytes and neutrophils and plasma cells and multinucleated giant cells and stuff like that. It's all that good stuff in the granuloma. That's what it looks like. And the treatment is itraconazole or potassium iodide. And the way I remember that is just, just remember KI. And K stands for KI, which I guess also stands for KI, which also, and uh, I stands for eterconazole. And that's about it for sporotrichosis.